Hello everyone, welcome to this introductory video on Maya 2015. Um, we're going to do the solar system project that's uh, based out of the book from Maya 2014. It's the first project you'll come across. Um, we're going to kind of just kind of walk through it. Um, I'm not going to technically follow it step by step as it is in the book, but we're going to hit all the points that are important there that help you guys get a good handle on this program. Um, so to begin with, let's go ahead and set our project. Um, that's important because it'll uh, create a directory in Maya where all the images are stored, all the files are stored. When you render movies, they'll put the images and movies all in the correct folders so they're all in the nice, in a nice, uh, easy to locate area. So let's go ahead and go to File. We'll go to uh, Project Window. And we'll have it in Maya Projects. We'll call it Solar System New. Let's go ahead and accept that. Okay. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a sun. So to do that, we're going to go to the Create drop down in the main menu. First of all, uh, let's change this drop down here from Surfaces to Polygons. We're going to do Molly and Polygons. Um, if you're in Surfaces, those are NURBS. Um, we're not going to be using NURBS today, we're going to use Polygons. So Polygon drop down. I'm going to go to create polygons, and we're going to go over to sphere. And I'll create a sphere for us right here. We're going to go over to the right side of the window here in the, the layer editor channel box, and uh, let's scale this up just a little bit. Let's uh, let's go for. Let's say five all the way around. So I'll go over to scale over here in the channel box layer editor. And I'll just change all of those to five. Five, tab down to five, tab down and five. Enter. And that looks good. Okay. So that is going to be our sun. Um, let's go ahead and name this. Um, you can name it over here or you can name it in the outliner. I want to suggest uh, let's go into the outliner just so I can. Uh, point that out to you guys and kind of get some organization started. So we'll open up the outliner over here. You can get to the outliner through your windows or you can just go to your hot, or your, uh, your shortcut panel layout window over here. Um, we'll double click the, the mesh right here. You'll say it says right now sphere one. We're going to change that to mesh sun. Um, There we go. Um, mesh is just a naming convention I like to use when it comes to anything that's geometry based. So just to be consistent all the way across the board, um, anytime we make something out of geometry, we'll call it mesh, whatever it's going to be called. Um, also, you notice there's a little underscore in between the mesh and the sun. Um, anytime you put a space in Maya um, between the names of something, um, it'll automatically put an underscore in there so that the, it's, it's all one word. Um, so just a little fun fact for you. Anyways, moving on. Alright, so our sun is at our origin. Now we're going to make ourselves uh, the planets. So we're going to go and do that from the top down menu. So um, we're going to go to our four panel window over here. Um, let's go ahead and click on that. Um, this one here on the top left is our uh, face down camera. So I'll, while my mouse is inside that window, I'll hit the space bar and it'll open us up into just the top-down camera mode. Okay. So let's go ahead and create ourselves another polygon. And we're going to make a sphere. We're going to move that one off to the side. W is a hot, or the shortcut for uh, your translate tool. We're going to move it over here. And let's turn on... Uh, grid lock or uh, uh, snaps for grid uh, I believe it's this one here that's the view plane this one's to grid so uh, click on this one here it'll make it to where when you're moving it'll snap your movements to the closest intersecting grid point so as you see it kind of moves along here let's uh this one's gonna be mercury so we're gonna scale it down a little bit and a little bit more Mercury is pretty small. Okay. 
that looks good. Um, we're going to head and uh, going to call it Mesh Mercury. We can do it over here. It's the same thing as over in the Outliner. Okay. Moving on. Um, Mercury doesn't have any moons, so we'll yeah we'll just go ahead and keep going. Okay, so create another polygon sphere. Remove that one out. This one is Venus. Venus is a little bit bigger than Mercury. Also has no moons. Okay. We're going to make them about two spaces apart. I mean, um, I think that we're going to keep all the planets about two spaces roughly apart. Um, you don't need to be horribly accurate here. This is just more of an exercise. So, sticking with our naming conventions, we're going to say mesh Venus. Okay, let's check it out in the outliner. Make sure all of our stuff is still looking nice in there. Oh, uh, I didn't use cats for the sun. Go ahead and add a cat for the end there. All right, moving on. Let's go back to our top down. Okay, well we will now create ourselves our another sphere. And we'll call this one Earth. All right. I think that's actually probably about the size I think that we're going to use for Earth. That looks about right. Sure, we'll cook. we'll say that's about right. So, mesh Earth. Now Earth has one moon, as we all know, so let's create one more sphere. And you know, if you want to, I'm going to, because I'm getting tired of creating spheres over and over again, going to that drop down. Um, you can just duplicate these and just rename them. That's, that's no biggie at all. So I'm going to shrink this guy down. This is going to be a moon. Call that one mesh. Mesh moon one. Okay. Now we're gonna move this guy a little bit over and we're gonna create ourselves Mars. Okay, mesh Mars. All right, and Mars has a couple moons, so let's go ahead and uh, actually Mars is smaller than Earth, so let's go ahead and scale that one down a little bit by grabbing that center one there. It'll scale it in all axes at the same time. Don't know if I pointed that out before, but it's been pointed out now. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate the moon. Move that over. I think that Mars's moons are probably smaller than our moon. Ooh, that's a little too small. There we go. Duplicate that one more time. We'll move that onto the other side of Mars. Perfect. Okay. Moving on, we're going to make ourselves What's the next one we got in line? It will be Jupiter. Okay. Scale that guy up. Jupiter's pretty big. Not that big. Maybe that big, but maybe just a little bigger. Yeah. I could be wrong on the scale, but you know. It's not what it's about at the moment, so. Gonna make myself another moon. Bring it over for Jupiter. Jupiter's got some moons. Jupiter's got a bunch of moons. We're not going to make all of Jupiter's moons. We're going to make, we'll say, we'll make Jupiter four moons. That seems like we should have more than four moons, but I 
a little bit overkill for just a lesson project. Okay. Moving on, let's create ourselves another plant for Saturn. Ooh, did I not name that one? I mis misspelled Mars, so that's that's not good. Let's change that. And then we gotta rename Jupiter. Rename Jupiter. Alright. Let's create ourselves uh Saturn now. Scale that one up just a little bit. Okay. Call that one Saturn. Saturn's got some moons, it's got some rings. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put a couple of moons around it. Put it uh, over here. That's a good spot for one. Hopefully. And Saturn also has a big ring. So to create Saturn's ring, let's go ahead and uh, go back to our, no, let's stay in this view for right now. We're going to go to polygons, or no, we're going to go to NURBS. We're going to go to NURBS and we're going to use a torus. That's how they want it done in the book and we'll just kind of, we'll play along with that. Sure, why not? We'll have to go into four panel view though, so to see what it actually looks like. F to frame it. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can look at the attributes and uh there we go. Go to make NURBS torus. Let's adjust the radius. Uh, adjust the sweep. Nope, I had it. Stains. Height. That's what it was. So with point zero five. No. Not point five, point zero five. Hmm. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't really like using the, the NURBS torus. It's just I like to stay in polygons. So let's, let's go ahead and try using that. We're gonna go and create another polygon sphere, and I guarantee this will be a whole lot faster and easier than the way the book would like us to do it. Sorry, I'm going renegade here a little bit, but guaranteed, I'll show you a different method. And you guys will be like, "Yeah, that's that's probably a better method, anyways." <laughs> so. Go ahead and turn grid snapping off for a second. We're gonna go to face. So I'll select, select the faces on this uh, sphere. And I'll select the first face, Q, just for Q will make it to where we go into selection mode. Now I'll double click. Oh. You see, if you're on the same route or uh, ring, it'll fill in all the selections for all those faces that I'm after. There we go. Now I will shift select all those faces and delete those and now I'll be left with this ring here which is essentially what I wanted anyways. Now to make it flat I'm gonna go to my scale tool and I'm gonna go and 
scale on the y-axis and bring it straight down to the, the blue center there. That will flatten it all the way out. Okay, now let's bring it down onto our Saturn. It's in the middle. Let's scale it out in all axes. And there we go. There's our ring. It's a whole lot easier than using a torus the way the book would like you to do it. Not that the book is wrong, and I'm sure the book has reasons for using a torus, but, uh, you know, I'm more of a polygon guy, so I like it. So, there we go. That's our ring for Saturn. Um, let's move on. Okay. Um, but let's name that first. So, uh, no. You go in the right area to name it. There we go. Mesh Saturn Ring. Oop, spelled Saturn wrong. He's having a before the T. There we go. And uh, okay, that's all good. Let's keep on making planets. Control D. We'll just duplicate that planet and we'll bring it on out. Okay, so now we got ourselves a Uranus, and I'm trying to speed this along. I'm just going to leave these guys the same size. Uranus, Control D again. We'll call that one Neptune, and for Uranus, let's go ahead and name that one. So change it from Mesh Saturn One to Mesh Uranus, and click on the next one. Go to Mesh, and we'll call that one. Okay. And why not? We'll, we'll even make Pluto, even though Pluto's not a planet. I think the book wants you to make a Pluto, so. R, well, short, shortcut for scale. Scale on all axes. Pluto's pretty small. There you go. And I think that uh, we're supposed to also give a couple moons to both Uranus and Neptune. So, Control D, add some more moons. Control D. There you go. And Control D. I think Neptune only has one moon. I think that Neptune's got the only moon that I think has a cool name, Triton. That's appropriate, right? Okay. All right. So, spacebar in the three window, and there's our sun, all of our planets and moons. Okay. So, let's see how I'm doing on time. All right, 18 minutes. I think this is probably a good stopping point. We're going to stop here. And uh, in the next lesson, we're going to pick up. We're going to do. Uh, we're going to organize uh, this into hierarchies of uh, grouping and parenting, and uh, we're going to do some texturing and uh, and with a, a render of our solar system. So, um, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.